Yo, viewers, what is up with the music now? To my viewers that's 50 years old like me, do you all remember when you heard a hit song? You heard the hit song, you bought the 45, right? Then, usually the album come out. Usually, most albums were pretty good. Plus, you can get a free poster. And go to the record store and, you know, enjoy looking through stuff and everything until you get up to the cash rest and pay for your album, right? And, you know, that song or album played for years, right? And then, about 5, 10, 15, even 20 years... Somebody would turn around and cover that song, right? And you'd be, oh yeah, I remember that song. Man, that sound good. They made it their own. All right, guess what happened today and yesterday? And the day before that? And the day before that? Like I said, I am a habitual coffee drinker. And I enjoy going to different coffee shops to check out the co- coffee. <clears throat> And to check out the new pretty ladies that come in there, especially in the summertime, because you know they have on them sundresses and the mini skirts with no pantyhose on. <laughs> oh, get down. You know I gotta look at that shit, right? Right. But anyway, getting back to the episode. Um, yeah, alright. Now, y'all done heard these new songs that's out, right? I'm talking about the ones that's been out since 2020. I'm talking about the songs that was out like. 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, right? Do you know they didn't turn around and not only remade them songs already by different artists, but well, they kind of fucked the songs up. And, and mind you, these were some songs that I kind of really, some, some of them I like, don't get me wrong, you know what I mean? But they didn't even give me a chance to even grow into it like good example let me, let me think of a song that came out that's an oldie but goodie okay here we go here we go may he rest in peace marvin gay i heard it through the grapevine right hmm? now time went by right now i'm gonna mention another artist that remade the song made it his own but it still came from marvin gay Oh, and also the Gladys Knights in the pits. Um, Zap, Roger Troutman, may he rest in peace. I heard it through the grapevine. He had that little talky voice in his mouth and he killed it, right? We all know the answer is Rizzi. But again, didn't he wait a long, long, long time hmm, to remake that song, right? And... You know, you, you can reach back to Motown when Marvin Gaye did his, when Gladys Knights and the Pips did theirs, and then you can check out Roger Zapp when he did it. But I'm serious. This is a song. Okay, um, remember what's her name? I think her name is Katy Perry. Remember that song? You're gonna hear me roar. Uh, 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 uh. I ain't gonna lie, I have some of the most freakiest, filthiest thoughts of thinking what she could do in front of me with no clothes on when she's singing that part right there. Now, somebody else and I already remade the song. And I'm like, wait a minute, that song came out. I know it was at the 2010. Now, it could have came out a little later, you know what I mean? But they're remaking the, these songs now, and, and, and you know... You know how they say, like, with age, age like wine, you know, the longer they hold the wine in there, the better it tastes when they're trying to sell it, right? And they taking all these songs, man, and remaking them. These songs has not been out, not even maybe three to five years or longer. I mean, viewers, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is not good. Like I said, yo, what is up with this? I'm serious. I'm just like, wait a minute, hold on. I just know this song. It's not let me think of another song that they use. Okay, that one I just saw previously. Then it's another song. 
I try not to sing these songs because for one, this digital and don't get me wrong, I, I like I like I love the internet. I do technology, I like all that. You know, but they could take digital and take a person that might not have the talent that was required when we was coming up and make them an overnight superstar. But I put it to you this way, viewers, for you that be out at coffee shops, okay. Have you heard these songs? Like I said, they probably been out uh, 2015, 2016, tops 2017. They have turned around and other artists covering these songs. And I'm just like, this sounds like some bullshit. You know, I already didn't kind of care for some of the songs. Like maybe, let's say out of 15 songs, there may be like two or three I actually like. You know what I mean? When it come on, I'm like, okay, I... <clears throat> Kind of, kind of like the little part. I don't know what the fuck part it is, but I know it when I hear it. Versus, uh, okay, like let me see, let me think of some other songs that age with like age with, like wine. Let me just think. Shit. Well, y'all, y'all know. Okay, here we go. Here go another one. Remember the song Creep. Okay, Stevie Wonder, right? But again. Time went on for a good long time before Luther Vandross, may he rest in peace, remade the song on that album, The Night I Fell in Love. You see what I'm saying? It's like, oh, okay, I, I didn't even know Stevie Wonder that made it. It sounds so nice, he made it his own song. But I'm serious, I'm hearing this new songs that have not got a chance to get, I don't want to say old, I, I would say... You know, when you've gotten familiar with, you're like, oh, yeah, that's a jam. Oh, that's an oldie but goodie. No, nah, this is a, this a, I don't know what the fuck to call it. What, a, a, a newie but goodie? <laughs> they don't even sound right. So, uh, put your comments in the comment section. Because I want to know. This is some bullshit. Ow, get down. Don't you go anywhere.